Having a little fun today with my son and his first car. This little father-son time working on an old car. Actually, as bad as this looks, the body is solid. We got it from like Tennessee. So solid body. But isn't this what a first car is supposed to look like? <laughs> I think so. Doesn't matter. It's a father-son time is what's important. Hey, Bo. Say hi. What's up? We working on uh, Bo's 85 Toyota Celica. You guys saw us bring this home a few, uh, I was gonna say a few months ago. It's more like a year ago, uh, but we're working on, we got the engine in and uh, we have the wiring connected just to a point. I wanna run the pump to drain the tank. This gas has been sitting in here for a long time. And so what we've done to start with is we've uh, jumped the two pin connector. Bo, come over here and put this together for me. Key on. Check engine light. <laughs> nice. Our plan is to drain this tank using the pump. Go ahead and jump that. Oh. Yeah, initially it comes out okay. Is that coming out good now? It is. And now it's slowing. Now it's slowing down. So just to a trickle. So what we're gonna do with, oh, with the pump circuit energized, we're gonna go in the back. We can do some power and ground tests. This is the time where the power probe is really, really nice because I'm gonna go right to the battery as my source. Yeah, we, we don't have the right negative terminal, but it's tight <laughs> for now. Uh, but let's do some voltage measurements back at the tank. Bo's a lot bigger than last time you saw him. Let's yeah. go. I think last time some of these people saw you, you were riding your little MX-500. All right, Bo. This thing goes fast. So, tell us what you think. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, Bo, here, come here. You're gonna be my voltage guy. Take this power probe. Just don't hit the switch, right. okay? Don't hit that switch. Yeah. Um, so our pump, power, and ground should be these two guys right here. So I want you to carefully back probe this blue wire right next to it make sure you're straight and just go push straight in right next to the wire what do you got it showed 11 and then it went away so move it to where you're seeing it okay 11 push it in a little bit further 11.8 volts okay good and now we're going to check our pump ground right. same thing right next to it 0.1 on the ground. Unfortunately, Bo, what this means is your pump is That's terrific. So I can hear it running. I was hoping we we're gonna have low voltage just because our, our system, you know, just how janky our wiring is on this right now. Yeah. But I hear the pump running and it's just barely trickling out. Now it could be, you know, a completely plugged fuel filter. Unlikely. We could do an amperage measurement and, and be sure. We should probably do that. Or we can just swap the fuel filter or un un undo the fuel filter, but I like an amperage measurement better. If we have super high amperage on this, then uh, we may have a plug filter. If we have low amperage, then this pump's just junk. I am. There is one other variable, Bo, other than the plug filter bad pump scenario. And it could be, could be that, you know, our tank is just empty. It said three quarters. Right, exactly. But our gauge is showing three quarter oh no it's not it changed i mean it, it could legit it could legitimately be an empty tank it showed three quarter gauge but that was i guess before i before connected you. all the wiring and turned the key on that's cool we might be we might be in luck here bo sweet yeah for real Okay, we're still gonna do that amperage measurement. I don't use this enough, Bo. This little pocket scope, check it out. Why am I using it now? Well, because my other tools are up inside the house and this one's right here for me to use. So let me get this set up for you and I will do a quick amperage measurement using this U-scope from AES Wave. This would be the U-scope master kit. It comes with a amp probe, the scope, uh, some secondary ignition leads, some test leads. Uh, also comes with the coil unplug paddle probe. You guys seen me use that before. 
pretty sweet scope for what four hundred dollars yeah awesome support my friends at aes wave and then all the affiliate revenue i earn gets donated to a grant that aes wave and scanner danner do together for people in need all right so we got the pump jumped amp clamp around either the positive or negative fuel pump wire doesn't matter either one and then here's our our fuel pump current pattern every um i'm on a scale that's 100 millivolts per amp so you see my yellow um box in there it says 270 six millivolts that'd be 2.7 amps that's very low amperage Bo. Mm -hmm. um on average you want to see four to six amps roughly on a pump like this so this is not a plugged fuel filter plug fuel filter would be very high amperage um this waveform doesn't look too bad like the armatures themselves and um i think we might just be out of gas very possible so let's put some fuel in it and see what it does. So I sent Bo to go get some gas. Um, I had like two gallons that I just put in it. And uh, I'm just remembering these old Toyota systems with the vein airflow meter and the air door was actually the fuel pump control on this. So I can actually make the pump run by just simply pushing on the flap of the airflow meter. Let's see if you hear it. yeah so and we have much much better flow so yes sir i like that so it looks like we were just out of gas amperage too uh i was a little uh, misleading on those measurements because this is one where everything's open there's no uh, build up of pressure because the lines open so yeah your amperage is definitely going to be lower just from that alone but we still could have a bad pump here let's get some more gas in it first we'll see all right so we went and put five gallons in it and now what we have as i showed Bo, this is pretty cool huh the airflow meter controls the fuel pump all right there is no prime on this system the way that that air door works is when you crank the engine over it energizes the fuel pump through a starting circuit on the relay and then after the car starts the air door opens and that controls the pump and then it's a safety in, in case you stall get into an accident sever a fuel line the engine stalls that That's air door is going to close and it shuts the fuel off uh, but now that we have that go ahead and open that door for me let's see if we can show everyone okay go ahead yeah, we got real nice flow now, Bo. We were just out of fuel, which is really cool. I'm happy about that. Let's get one more amperage reading in the back. Yeah. I'll have you do that while I do this amperage measurement. All the amperage did for us, Bo, is just confirm filter wasn't plugged and we didn't have to be parts changers along the way, right? So I don't expect this amperage to be much higher just simply because that fuel line's open with no restriction. All right, go ahead and energize that for me. I want to watch this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amperage is higher. Let's get move that line up. Why did it slow down? Did it slow down? Yeah. I think just because the way our uh, we're still low on fuel, I think. You got to turn it back on. Yeah, and then my amperage is dropping back down. But we were up to about three amps. I think we're still just low on fuel. Um, let's um, put that gas back in the tank and we'll redo it one more time. I, I honestly just think the tilt that we're at, we only put you know four gallons in it. Let's get that set back up up front. And then I'll have you jump it again and we'll watch it. Yeah. It, it's still possible the pump's crapping out. I hope not for your sake. I, I'd rather not so you have to spend money on a fuel pump these are all good checks either way okay go ahead got good flow yeah and i can hear i can kind of hear it like almost half sucking air in the tank i think we're just low on fuel bo no it, We'll get some more. We don't need to right now, but I'm happy with that test. 
um, let's get the rest of this engine put on. Let's get your exhaust put on and, and um, let's hope we can get, get it started today. Bo is smiling. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> so oh, pe pe on my hand. Oh. <laughs> people are gonna look at this car, Bo, and they're gonna be like, why would you buy your son this piece of crap? This thing's awesome, dude. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I bought this car, I found this car. You did, I dude. found it on Facebook, I That's thought right. it was sick. That's right. 